So I've spent two days at the NATO conference here in Brussels, and my challenge is to try and explain everything we're going to do now before I leave this conference centre and get into the car. When people come to NATO conferences like this, they make a lot of speeches, they read them out, and they're good speeches, they're important points, but I think people often wonder, well, what's going to happen next? So let me tell you what I think we need to do. We had an incredibly clear exposition from the Ukrainian foreign minister about what his country needs to make sure it can prevail against Russia after the illegal invasion. He couldn't have been more clear. So let me tell you the things I'm going to do. First thing, all of us, every foreign minister knows, needs to go back to their country, get hold of their defense minister and ask what more can we do to help Ukraine in terms of air defense. They suffered in March alone over 700 missile and drone attacks. We've got to do more. Britain already does a massive amount, trained 60,000 Ukrainian soldiers, given them seven billion pounds, the first to provide equipment like long-range weapons and tanks and anti-aircraft weapons, but we've got to do more. Next thing we've all got to do is get to our treasuries, get to our chancellors, get to our finance ministers and say what are we going to do to make sure we use these frozen Russian assets to help Ukraine to pay for this war and pay for the reconstruction of their country. There are creative things that we can do. One day Russia is going to have to pay reparations for its illegal invasion of Ukraine and when it does that, that can pay back the money that now needs to be given to Ukraine to help them in what they're doing. Next thing we got to do is all of us, but particularly those who aren't spending 2% of their GDP on defense, have got to fix a meeting with their prime minister or with their president and say, we have got to make good that spending. Britain has done that, indeed, between 2020 and 2025, an extra 24 billion going into defense. But we need to do more, and I'm sure that we will. Final thing we got to do, get on the phone to Speaker Johnson in the House of Representatives in Congress in America. Britain's put forward its money for Ukraine this year, so's the European Union. America needs to do it. That is blocked in Congress. Speaker Congress, Speaker Johnson can make it happen in Congress. I'm going to go and see him next week and say we need that money. Ukraine needs that money. It is American security, it's European security, it's Britain's security that's on the line in Ukraine, and they need our help.